The SIT TESOL certificate is one of the most widely recognized initial licenses for teaching English to speakers of other languages, a program that brings with it a unique history and culture. The SIT Graduate Institute was one of the original Peace Corps training centers, and the foundations of this course are built upon understanding how language we teach needs to be leading students towards communicative and cultural competence. The SIT TESOL certificate program was created out of the SIT Graduate Institute Masters in TESOL, which is one of the first and most respected TESOL programs in the United States. All SIT TESOL trainers have many years of teaching experience and have gone through a rigorous training program so that they can follow the curriculum designed by the SIT professors. The underlying philosophy of the course is based on experiential learning. And the basic idea there is that teachers learn best by actually teaching and then reflecting on their experiences. Rather than telling participants the right way to teach, trainers work with participants to build up a toolkit of techniques and reflective skills so that they can figure out how to best support their students' learning. During the course, participants go through a cycle as they develop their skills. First, there are workshops that provide input on teaching methods and classroom practices. Next, they do practice teaching with actual English language learners. And they get feedback from trainers and classmates that support their own reflection on their lessons. Workshops are hands-on and collaborative. Course participants learn by doing and experiencing interactive teaching practices. Trainers guide and add to follow-up discussions so that theory emerges from experience and practice. In addition, participants do readings on various TESOL topics and relate those ideas to their experiences so that they can become more aware of the wider community and current concepts in the field. On the SIT course, participants go through a series of modules focusing on the main skills and topics of English language teaching. First, we focus on the basic principles of adult learning with the learning and teaching modules. This provides a theoretical foundation about how people learn. Then we move on and focus on the what of English language teaching with the four main skills, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. In addition, we have a strong focus on culture and intercultural skills, which is such a fundamental part of being an English language teacher. Finally, throughout the course, we have a language awareness thread which includes the ins and outs of how to analyze and teach vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, and discourse. In the practice teaching, participants teach real ESL students from the community who need English for their jobs, education, and future plans. These students are divided into an upper and lower level so that participants can develop skills for teaching each. During the practice teaching, the participants teach the lessons while the other participants and trainers observe. Each participant completes at least six hours of practice teaching in total. One important point about the practice teaching is that it is interwoven with the workshops. In other words, in workshop, participants might learn about how to teach reading and then actually deliver a reading lesson within a few days. Rather than having a teaching practicum at the end of the course, participants are immediately putting their ideas into practice and getting feedback on their teaching. This continues throughout the course and leads to rapid skill development. After practice teaching, participants go through a structured process of feedback led by SIT trainers. The teacher and observers have a chance to share their observations and ask questions. These discussions center around what seemed to help student learning and what may have hindered it or what may have been missing. The focus is not on what participants should do, but on ways of supporting learning. Participants continue to work with their ideas about learning and teaching by writing reflective essays about their practice teaching lessons. Trainers read and comment on these essays so they can support the reflective process. In this way, participants can develop the skills they need to continue their professional development far beyond the end of the course. It's been a 
wonderful experience. I've really enjoyed it. The course, uh, it's comprehensive. I really enjoyed my experience. It was like going up a very steep and beautiful mountain with the best guides you could ever have always at your side. If you as a teacher see yourself as a provider of information, it's going to open some new horizons for you. It's this great combination of learning from the trainers and they model everything with us that they want us to do with the students and we get to watch them teach lessons and so we have these excellent examples of how to teach and then this component of student teaching allows us to actually try it out and then get all this great feedback from them and from our peers and we watch our peers teach and learn from that as well. So it's been beyond my expectations of what I would learn. You create a lesson plan and then you have an opportunity to uh, use that and, and to teach uh, a class based on that lesson plan. And the value part I find is the observation and feedback from my uh, classmates afterward. The way the uh, specifics, when they break down, um, you know, what, how do you teach the lesson? What do you do here? What do the students do here? What helps them with their learning? What doesn't? So it really, it really refines what makes effective teaching. It's an incredibly positive experience that you will work very hard and you will be very, very supported by your trainers and by your peers, you know, the other students. You will be prepared to teach English anywhere or to teach almost anything anywhere. Whether you want to be um, a professional full-time English teacher or not, it's a really good way to just uh, to think about work and to approach work, especially if you have any sort of interest in, like for myself, I'm a social worker, so I'm teaching not English, but um, I use the same skills and the same thought process for teaching any other thing that comes my way, whether it be life skills or about, well, you know, like a nonprofit or something, or curriculum for field trips, which is usually the work I do. Um, it's just much more helpful than just English teaching. It's been so much more educational for me. I've learned so much more in this than in most of my previous education in college and in graduate school where it was so much lecturing or reading and this was so much more experiential and hands-on and interactive and it was this adult learning model that I wasn't familiar with but that I really have come to believe is works and is powerful and now I have the tools to use it so I feel really lucky about that. The instructors we had were kind enough to, to talk about their experiences of sort of things to look for like red flags and job postings as you're looking to move abroad um, and that was really helpful because I ended up not listening to that advice and then took a really bad job. <laughs> so that was really nice, I, sh I should have taken that advice. <laughs> Your um, student peers will come from a huge variety of backgrounds and interests and ages. I mean I was way the oldest and there were you know young students from Cal so they come from a variety of settings and ages and all and everybody had different goals some people wanted to go overseas so you'll be ready for anything and i think that being taught how to reflect on what you're doing is something that we can use in all the parts of our lives if someone was considering this course i would say if you're focused on adult learners and you're comfortable with you know, giving up some of the control to the students if that's, your, if that's a comfortable philosophy for you, then you'd really enjoy and you'd learn a lot from this course. At the end of the course, you really feel prepared to teach a class. I think it's gonna be a life-changing experience for anybody who takes this class. I think all of us felt that. You know, that we had walked into it and think, oh, we're gonna be trained to teach English. That was, that was true. But something because of what we had to do internally, I think all of us had some kind of shift inside of ourselves that was for the good. And I think that would happen to anybody who takes the course.